Hey everyone, it's been a while. Um, <laughs> okay, so today, as you can tell by the thumbnail, is going to be my Let's Play of House of Ashes. Really excited to play it. I've been holding off on playing this game because I've wanted to do a video essay of it originally, but, you know, you haven't seen me, I haven't seen you in like months. So I figured, you know what, let's just do a Let's Play because video essays, they can come after. If you've seen from my channel, if you followed along, I do them anytime anyway. So no harm in just let's play the damn thing. So I'm excited for it and I want to do it. And I haven't had anything on this channel for a while and I'm glad that you're still here watching stuff. So thank you for that. Um, as I hold my shoulder, not my heart. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. It's hard enough to just like stare at the camera, trying to make a connection with a hollow monocle that is recording this event. Anyways, okay, House of Ashes. So sit back, relax, and uh, let me not bother you with this a silly mug for a while. Um, but on a side note, uh, yeah, no, thank you for staying and, and watching stuff. I do appreciate that. And um, let's have some fun, shall we? Uh, but before I get into it, I do want to note that I have done about seven minutes of this to sort of like test the recording. Um, and I have had several crashes. My system is just not what it used to be. I think that happened a lot with Little Hope, but uh, that's just on my end. It's because I got a potato for a PC. No, I'm just kidding. No, I love my PC. Please don't take that to heart. Please, please don't crash. But if it does, now you know why. Hey everybody, uh, looking at me so soon because I've crashed like three times. I mean, to be fair, it was like my audio wasn't recording, so it wasn't really a crash. So what I think I'll be doing is cutting this game short like every 30 minutes. So if you see an interrupt stopped, that is why. Um, we are going to do a new game and we're gonna go lethal. Uh, hopefully the audio picks up this time. And we're just gonna do new slot. Wow, look at all these saves. I, I keep thinking that I can delete them because a part of me is getting a little bit annoyed that they exist. So I have to keep creating them. Are you sure you can overwrite the slot? Oh, so you can just overwrite them. Can you delete them? Is that a possibility? Um, really should be figuring this out another time. Anyways, guys, you're not here to, to watch me fiddle through menus. Let us play this game once and for all. And for transparency, I've seen about like 40 minutes of it now. <laughs> I might play the whole game and have it crash like right at them. Anyways, I'm being frustrated. Okay, let's play this damn game, shall we? For they have sown the wind and they shall reap the whirlwind. I felt like I've read that a million times already. Every choice has a consequence in case you were unfamiliar how choice games work and some decisions save lives i've mentioned this a hundred times i don't know why the font's so close to the other others other choices lead to death that is uh what we like to call fortune cookie knowledge and i've said that three times already choose wisely i feel like i'm living in a repeatable nightmare where i can't get a video to work can't get a let's play to work. Anyways, I need to do my best to keep my head. Okay, that's a new joke. I haven't said that one before. Akkad, 20, 2, 31 BCE. I don't want to die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Nobody wants to die though, right? Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Beratu, forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Aww. Take this one back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. Gutien is not his name. I think it's just who they are Jeff, as a culture group. We should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple 
is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. And yes, you are a dutiful general, I suppose, taking human sacrifices for thine king. I promise you, I was very impressed when first watching this. All the reaction was bliss. The moon Get god me. sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. It's actually pretty cool. I, I, I'm loving this so Look far, actually. Look around you. Is this hole not famous enough for my mistake? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The good hands are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Years, perhaps. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. <laughs> Oh boy. Tell me, General, does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? Oh. What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. <laughs> what in a her. nice king to remind you that, uh, this young girl is reminiscent to his own daughter. So I'm gonna go ahead and make choices that I have been making. My king, would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? Logic and reason? She's an enemy scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Mm -hmm. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. But of course. She must die. Absolutely. <laughs> ah! Ah! Alrighty, like I was saying, we're making the same choices, or I'm making the same choices, just to keep things, um, consistent, I guess. I mean, I suppose you would know, right, what choices I make, what choices I don't make. But I felt pretty satisfied with my other choices in the last, uh, corrupted playthroughs, if you will. Here, you know, we're, we're wrestling with our ideas, not just as a general. But as a father, having lost his daughter to famine. So we're not gonna attack her. But Tom Brady back there is gonna toss one up. You've spent too long killing the calves in our cells, Balatu. You've lost your edge. Just a girl. Nothing but a girl. A girl? I see only a Gutian demon. <gasps> if you cannot kill in my name, General, then perhaps you can die for it. Fight well. Hmm. I wonder. Had he had killed her? Hmm. So this kind of tripped me out, like, what did he grab there? I still don't know. Because he's, like, shirtless, right? He didn't grab a collar. But this, uh, this intro I really did like, though. I think this intro is a lot uh, more involved than Man of Medan and, and Little Hope in the sense that, uh, I ended up really liking these two characters. So, there's that. I know, isn't it kind of unfair that I've played 40 minutes of this, so none of these, uh, none of this stuff is new to me at this point? Just sort of commentating on a moment of passing. No, but this is like dope though. Like, I really do enjoy this intro versus, um, anything else from the Dark Anthologies, which, to be fair, is only like two games, so... I, I mean, Until Dawn is one of them, but I mean, I don't think they count it as a Dark Anthology, do they?
That mask is so dope, though. And now the moon army, the moon knights are coming. Yeah, I didn't realize it at the time, but the other Gutians seem to be uh, attacking the temple to liberate their prisoners. Um, so, <laughs> you learn some stuff. But here we go. We have uh, our main Gutian, who I'm not sure if we know his name. Kuram. Kurum. I don't think we've ever heard his name be called out. If not for the subtitles, so... My god. The only thing holding those monsters at bay is a thin spear and a bit of hope. Do you understand now? He builds this temple to call for forgiveness, but the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. Oh. Exposition dump. Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. I followed a fool into the abyss. Don't let his ruin become ours. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacomb. You think I should trust you? No. Absolutely not. I have no choice. I would be jumping those steps. <laughs> it's like they take their time on each step. I would have been leaping. Help as a team. This. Friendships make the dream work. Alright. So we are playing on lethal. Um, I'm not sure if I missed a QTE during my initial run with the corrupted file, but we'll see. I don't want to say anything too ahead of time in case, you know, this is your new Follow experience me. watching this, so there is a way out through don't want to spoil it for you. Do Yes. But for the builders when they're done. It does get intense. Come. To say the least. Alright. I messed this up last time. Let's see if I uh can get it down this time. It's the wide change up that got me actually. That, you know, it's supposed to be in a rhythmic pattern, and I didn't do that when it switched to Y, so. Let's see how big of a difference this makes. Almost did it again. There you go, and there's another round after this one. <laughs> I 
Oh man, could you imagine outside the tutorial though? I'm gonna get so many people killed. Okay, that's where I messed up. And is there another one after this? I don't know. <gasps> Just a rat. Uh, the rat. All this death for nothing. They died in vain for a mad king. A king they loved. <sighs> a king I loved. My beloved king. Okay, let's see if there's like other shit here. Use the light source to move around. Cool, cool, cool. Inspect. Okay. Wait, did... Arisen? So, initially, this looked like, to me to be Karoom rising from the dead there, but... Anyways. I think there is uh, another inspect right there. Look around, there may be hidden information. Now, I, I didn't. I don't think I found hidden information here, honestly. We are cursed by our own actions. Why did your king raid the temple? Same story that history has taught us for gold, uh. for glory, for greed. One man's greed is another man's glory, said that joke in a previous save. Hey, what's down here? Um, okay, I think that's it. Gosh, I feel like I am missing something. Okay, that's a tablet. Alright, pressing on. Here, help me with this. First. We're safe okay. Now. You first. It's a trust building exercise. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutiam. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words. Our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? Um, yes, so we're gonna do this. The enemy of my enemy is my enemy, is a friend. We help each other. We can delightfully kill each other after this. Dab it, dab over. it. All right, let's see if there's uh, a thing here. What was that? I don't know. <gasps> oh, there's a thing here. Many ways into this tomb. We're not alone down here. Oh, is there is there like secrets here? God. Is there no secrets here? I do apologize for my thoroughness. Um, whenever you see those like, like exit, that means you know it's the end of the actual level, so I just want to make sure I have interacted with all that I could have interacted with. I think that's it. Alrighty, time to a prison. Oh, I feel like there's something I'm missing. Anyways, y'all let me know in the comments. Over here. Um, but let's just press forward. How worried they looked, as you should be. Oh my god. Huh? Come on. Did I do it? Did I make it? Oh, I think so. I don't think I got it last time, actually.
Oh boy, oh boy. It's coming! I know. <laughs> Arcadian! Oh boy, okay. There's no escape. Yeah. Our only hope is to stand together. No! If we both run, then we both die. Really? Ready your sword. I chose fight last time. Maybe... Oh, it's fight or betray. Uh, we're gonna do fight. We're good boys. We're good boys out here. We dabbed it. We're pretty much blood brothers now. Alrighty. Just gotta focus. Oh boy, I almost missed that. Oh, he dies anyway. Oh well, so yeah, that's what I was referring to, I think. I thought there may have been a way to save both of them, but it doesn't look to be that way. I suppose we could have done Betray, but I have a feeling it would have um, presented the same outcome. You know, man's inhumanity to man. Um, so, c'est la vie, you know, predestined and all that. Love these guys, though, gotta admit. I really did like these intro characters. Um, and like I was saying in my, <laughs> like I was saying, as if you were here for that. So I actually mentioned this in the Corrupted Files that um, I actually really do enjoy uh, this intro versus like Little Hope and Man of Medan. I think Man of Medan had an intro with those two sailors, right? Not sure if Little Hope had one. Um, did Little Hope have one? I can't remember. But yeah, I like this one. I felt like there was a there was an attempt at you know building character characters even if they were gonna die anyway. Um, it, there was a little, there was a lot of on the nose stuff when it comes to dialogue there, um, which is weird, um, because this is a game, right? So you have the entire game to really explore that exposition or the details surrounding the exposition. Not sure why you had to lore dump early on. And what I mean by that is like, uh, talking about, uh, the king and why he did that. I felt like we could have put that together, right? Um, but... You know, hey, it is what it is, and I think, you know, for what it's worth, it was a relatively good, um, intro. So, that is what I want to say about that. Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass, guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation, or be lost in the darkness forever? Do not challenge me. Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear. You don't think I know that? I expect you're wondering who I am and where you are. I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. Oh. This is my repository. It is filled with untold stories, stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Mm -hmm. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although, I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. Aww. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Thank you. Or extremely foolish. What the uh, plan for that? Remember, guys, play this twice already. <laughs> Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Or nothing that meets the eye. Let Sir. me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures, 
pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. Perhaps. But alas, sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. Yes, originally I thought the game would start us off here. Iraq, 2003. I'm proud to be an American, still topping the Billboard charts. Um, I thought we would actually start off here, so I was pleasantly surprised to have that, that intro. And so I think this guy with the... Not, not Jason, but the other guy... Uh, the one with Girl. the incredible jawline. Uh, Eric Chad King, rational and insecure. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. So we're actually going to play this to the point where I want to try to make this a clean run. Let's try to save everybody. Apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Things are moving fast. I hear you, Colonel. Glad to have you on board. And by that I mean Thanks ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, you're good to go. You should read this. Then you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? Let's go ahead and do this. This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Cold check. First lieutenant. Cold check. Wow. In the briefing room? But yes, uh, I think what we're going to do is try to build relationships, be uh, happy-go-lucky with folks. Uh, we want to survive. We want to live. Guys, we're playing on lethal. Anything can happen. Actually, I don't know that to be the case, but... Aww. What's up, Marine? Can't you keep up? Uh, he's, he's up, all right. Commanding and abrasive, Rachel King. And Nick K. Uh, Sergeant, Force Recon- what, what did that say? I didn't read time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, uh, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've- you've lifted me up. In more ways than one. I don't know where I'd be without you. Oh. Romance. It's just a horny castle. Rachel King. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, Aww. you mean? Your husband? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. Oh, he's straight, all right. Um... I mean, Rachel, are you gonna tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Therefore qualified for divorce. It, it's gotta be over. <laughs> Um, so last time I actually chose reluctant, but I'm gonna actually do reassuring. Let's go ahead and build this relationship drama. Maybe I just don't think this is the right time. That's bullshit. There's never a right time. Soon, Aww. Nick. I promise. Mm. Soon. Love finds a way. I'll see you at the briefing. Shit. You know, honestly, so when I chose Reluctant last time, I was kind of hoping for that kind of outcome, that, like, she would put it on hold, but, like, not be distant. If you choose the other option, she actually makes them distant, which I was like, no, that's not what I was going for. So I do feel like this is uh, the choice uh, that I like. But, I mean, who cares? Because this game crashes anyway. Anyway, I got, like, a minute left. You'll have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> Chowing down on candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenails. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. <laughs> Aww. Wholesome. Wholesome. We've got the CIA, we've got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. 
Alrighty. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and call it here, you know, just to make sure that we, uh, you know, don't get screwed over by having a corrupted file this time. But I want to thank all of you for watching this and and uh, hanging in there with me. I told you it would crash, and it did. Um, I will go into the next episode wearing the same stuff because I'm going to power through this game as much as possible. So, uh, yeah, expect the same environment. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.